Monday the 18th of September 2023 First reading Reading from the first book of Timothy My advice is that, first of all, there should be prayers offered for everyone, petitions, intercessions and thanksgiving, and especially for kings and others in authority, so that we may be able to live religious and reverent lives in peace and quiet. To do this is right and will please God our Saviour. He wants everyone to be saved and reach full knowledge of the truth. For there is only one God, and there is only one mediator between God and mankind, himself a man, Christ Jesus, who sacrificed himself as a ransom for them all. He is the evidence of this, sent at the appointed time, and I have been named a herald and apostle of it, and I am telling the truth and no lie, a teacher of the faith and the truth to the pagans. In every place, then, I want the men to lift their hands up reverently in prayer, with no anger or argument. Responsorial Psalm Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard my cry. Hear the voice of my pleading, as I call for help, as I lift up my hands in prayer, to your holy place. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard my cry. The Lord is my strength and my shield, in him my heart trusts. I was helped, my heart rejoices, and I praise him with my song. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard my cry. The Lord is the strength of his people, a fortress where his anointed find salvation. Save your people, bless Israel your heritage, be their shepherd and carry them forever. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard my cry. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia Make me grasp the way of your precepts, and I will muse on your wonders. Alleluia. Gospel. Reading from the book of Luke. When Jesus had come to the end of all he wanted the people to hear, he went into Capernaum. A centurion that had a servant, a favourite of his, who was sick and near death. Having heard about Jesus, he sent some Jewish elders to him to ask him to come and heal his servant. When they came to Jesus, they pleaded earnestly with him. He deserves this of you, they said, because he is friendly towards our people. In fact, he is the one who built the synagogue. So Jesus went with them and was not very far from the house when the centurion sent word to him by some friends. Sir, he said, do not put yourself to trouble because I am not worthy to have you under my roof and for this same reason I did not presume to come to you myself, but give the word and let my servant be cured. For I am under authority myself, and have soldiers under me. And I say to one man, go, and he goes, to another, come here, and he comes, to my servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard these words, he was astonished at him, and turning round, said to the crowd following him, I tell you, not even in Israel have I found faith like this. And when the messengers got back to the house, they found the servant in perfect health. Gospel of the Lord.